Portals are one of my favorite features in Canto. A portal lets us take files in a Canto library and deliver it to our clients and share it with visitors. Let's create our first portal. Go ahead and click on the menu in the upper left corner to open up our flight library. These folders here on the left side contain albums. I'm going to go ahead and click on this surf album and you'll see those images are now showing. I want to add files from my surf album to a portal so that my clients can view them. On the right side, I'll hover over my avatar and click on settings to create a new portal. Let's click on the portals tab to start creating a new portal. Then we'll click new portal to get started. Let's start off by giving our portal a name. I'll call this one surf photos. It also helps to add a description, especially if you're going to create mini portals. So I'll go ahead and just add this description, surf images for publication. This will be perfect if I'm delivering it to the media to use, and that's one of the best uses for a portal. The URL box is basically the URL that you'll see for the portal, and I'll update it to surf photos. The expires date allows you to set how long to keep your portal online. You can leave the never box ticked if this is a permanent portal that clients will access on an ongoing basis, but I might suggest unchecking this box and then setting a date for your portal to go offline as you're seeing me do here. Let's go ahead and change the access to public so that anyone can access the portal. More specific access can be set from the user access settings. Otherwise, you could click on add user or add group so that only specific users can view the portal. We're almost done. We just need to add the content that we want to show as part of the portal. Let's switch to the content tab and then press add to get started. I'll find the surf album and then click OK. Now let's go ahead and turn on the auto sync option. If we add images to our surf album later, they'll automatically be added to the portal as well, so it's a great idea to leave this on. It's also worth checking out that each portal can have its own custom branding and landing page layout. For instructions, make sure to check out our branding Canto portals video. Now let's go ahead and click on finish to create the portal. You'll see a message that the portal is being created. Jumping back to the main library, you can open up the menu on the left side and find the portal section to see the portal that we just created. Simply click on a portal name to open it up and have a look at it. I could take the URL for the portal and could send it on to my client to work with and view. Portals are a great way to take your Canto library and share it with visitors. Thanks for watching.